Hello you, welcome to Geekism, and welcome back to Azuri Gardens. It's been a while, uh, but we hair. are here, and also joining me, as always, is Mass Bandit. Hello. And we have our special guest, Silverette. Hello. So, uh, if you're not caught up, you don't know what's happening. The reason there has been no Azuri... Well, there's multiple reasons, actually, why there's been no Azuri Gardens for a little while. Um, mm -hmm. the, really? The main one is that Sylv took it to build a coaster. Um, mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, if you hadn't have done that, <laughs> there probably still would have been a bit of a gap because I've moved uh, across the world, basically, <laughs> from uh, from the UK to Canada. And also, um, Mask's in a bit of a rut at the moment. <laughs> I've been sitting on my ass doing nothing, that's right. <laughs> uh, and hasn't particularly wanted to... You did uh, push record, right? We are recording this, right? Uh, yeah, this is this is okay. going, yeah. <laughs> Making sure. So, um, so yeah, we're out of practice. The main reason is, of course, because Silverette had uh, had the part to build a coaster. So, Sil, how did you get on with the uh, with the park? Yeah, so uh, I thought I would just build this wooden coaster and uh, just build a layout, maybe maybe a queue, maybe a station, and get it over with in uh, about one week or maybe two, given that uh, you're moving across the world. Um, but at some point during the process, I thought it might be fun to try my hand at a few custom supports. And <laughs> once I started, I, uh, yeah, I, I thought I really had to finish the job. And uh, oh, that's that. a really cool perspective. Look at that! I, like that. I didn't Ooh. even think about that. So this is with fully custom well, anyway. supports. This is the gambit that never was. Then right? That was the name of the. Was that the name of the one yeah. you tried before? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm actually really impressed you remember. I, <laughs> I keep forgetting about that ride, to be honest. That is, uh, <laughs> That was a coast I started for one episode and never went back to again. <laughs> but, um, although I do remember why. Uh, back in the day, we didn't have the friction multiplier yet, so oh. I built Gambit. Boy, uh, is that kind old? Kind of going out of my way, yeah, kind of going out of my way to conform to the terrain to have a decent speed throughout the whole layout. And very shortly after that, they added the friction multiplier, <laughs> and mm. I thought, well, now all of my work has been in vain. Whatever. Yeah, it's not. A, uh, it's not a very so, easy yeah. retrofit, right? It's basically rebuilding a coaster, isn't it, for that kind of thing? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I would assume so. But look at this. So the only sort of Damn. remit that that we gave Sylv before we started this was, well, actually, it was me. I I just said I just want a big old mess of wood. Right, I just the, basically the, the the one thing I'm a big fan of uh, with these GCIs is these huge masses of support that just you know you can't even see through them at some points because there's that many layers of wood, uh, and that is something that I uh, I really uh, wanted to kind of get, and and I think you've done fantastically here. So can you talk us a little bit about the actual coaster itself? Because obviously um, you've done a couple of videos on this over on your channel of you building it, but if people haven't seen those, I, I recommend they go and watch them. But for those who haven't, um, obviously this lift hill especially is quite different. Um, mm -hmm. So so can right. you talk us through so, that a little um, bit? Yeah, uh, basically, should we maybe even talk a little bit about GCI? I don't know how familiar all of the viewers are with yeah, it. Yeah. Basically, uh, it's of a company course, yeah. called Great Coasters International, and they make wooden coasters, and uh, they're, they're some of the best. Oh, I absolutely love them. Uh, they, they, they just have like a really unique way that they flow through their layouts. They don't really feel like any other wooden roller coaster. Um, so I really like riding them, but building them in Planet Coaster is pretty difficult. So, I mean, that was sort of part of the challenge, to try and make a, a realistic GCI coaster. So the layout uh, uses some typical GCI tropes, like a very long curved drop for the first drop, and um, a flyby at the station, actually, where you have a straight piece of track that moves just over the station platform, and just all of the twists and turns that you get on these wooden coasters. So um, that's for the general layout, and then I was especially inspired by something that I saw that uh, GCI published. Well, they didn't really publish it. They, they showed it off at IAPA, which is this uh, this big convention where all of the, the big companies in the theme park world get together and show their new products. And they basically had this wooden coaster with inversions and black steel supports for some parts of the layout. And... Hmm. I sort of turned to this because I needed to cross a road here because you guys very conveniently placed a road in the middle of the plots that I was going to work on. <laughs> uh, but it just so happens that these, this sort of idea of using steel supports underneath a wooden coaster 
is actually very good for covering a large distance like I had to do over here. And I think even as a stylistic element, it looks pretty cool. Is, yeah. it, is it too late to tell you? You, you probably could have just moved the road <laughs> if you wanted to. <laughs> well. Yeah. The, the but hey, no, that's good because this is so cool. It's so unique. It's very like, unique, yeah. So, the idea, yeah, so as far as the company's concerned, they're using this for... Uh, like just general support and it's probably a little cheaper and stuff whereas here you've used it as a way of getting across a road I think what we'll do is we'll come out of Tejicam and have a better look at it from the from the bird's eye view so we can right. really see what mm -hmm. that looks like yeah because that's that's I, when you showed us the pictures because you showed us this first and was like hey this is where I'm headed and just making sure we were cool with it and I was like yeah sure go for it it wasn't like I was like that's weird but when you showed the reference because you showed mm -hmm. a reference picture to us I think right yeah and and it's grown on me significantly since then. Uh, I, it's really cool. I, I like how unique it is. And you did an amazing job making yeah. sure that you can get trucks in and out. Like, I, that's that's impressive. I kind of love the fact that we're the only, we're, as far as I know, we're the only person, people with this in a park. You know, I've not seen anyone else yeah. do this. That's right. So, um, <laughs> and then there's a few other bits of the of the uh, of the of the coaster where you've had to get this path through as well. So. Um, you've used a few different yeah. techniques here. Uh, so there's, there's this curve over yeah. here, and, and this is more standard fare for GCI. There's just some metal girders. Uh, there's just a few more of them than you'd usually see, but this is not too different from when a wooden coaster crosses itself. Although, interestingly, one of those tidbits mm -hmm. that I've heard is that apparently um, GCI wooden coasters will never have a curved track going over another part of the track just because they can't figure out how to build curved supports over another part of the track. Uh, so that's something to watch out for. So I also needed the pieces going... So all these all these. Pieces yeah, exactly. So I needed the, the pieces going over yeah. the road to be as straight as possible. But the, the sort of curve over there is hmm. quite similar to what you usually see on wooden coasters. And then the very long straight section, which is a little bit later down in the layouts, is actually a people mover underneath the, the coaster track uh, with some steel supports. Oh, that's and, uh, clever. I think in this case it actually doubled as a way to remove the supports as well because for these things you also need to find a way to remove the coaster supports um, because there's a way to turn off supports oh, right, yeah, in the game but for some reason this also turns off the catwalks. Uh -huh. So I wanted to keep the catwalks, oh, okay. but remove the supports. So there are some coaster tracks underneath all of these like openings of the wooden coaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say in your in your video, I noticed it was like the wild the wild mouse coaster or something. Or yeah, you used it yep. as, to, as a support killer. That's like old school oh, yeah. RCT three stuff going on there. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. Awesome sauce. Like and then uh, we've got the beginnings of like a little sort of entrance plaza for the ride uh, mm -hmm. itself so this is you know you're, you're walking to so this is kind of the entrance here i'm i'm, I'm imagining yeah. a big sign here mm -hmm. sort of you know hanging in front of the coaster and then here you sure. can maybe even get a couple of little like a gift store and maybe a drink stall or something you know up here yep. and all themed yep. around the same sort of theme um, and then we've got to figure out how to get the queue. <laughs> yeah, show them this. <laughs> I'm glad I'm getting the park next. Yeah, Good God. It's, uh, this is Mask's job. Uh, but here's the entrance <laughs> to the ride. Look. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. D it, does it, it does clear, right? You tested it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, I'm sorry okay. about this, guys. Okay. I, uh, I built okay. the layout without thinking about where the queue would go. And, um, yeah, and then I realized I sort of worked myself into a corner there. But it's it's doable. You can build a bridge it's over okay. the track. I, I, you can build a bridge there. And like we said just off camera before, that that's going to be quite an interesting element. You know, it gives it gives a head chopper on the coaster. It gives something mm -hmm. for people to look at when they're queuing and stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, I uh, I actually think that's a, a a real good thing. But then it's you know figuring out how to get back. I'd probably do some like big there and back things that could be chopped off when the queue's not very busy. You know, you know. I'm thinking I'm going to try and. I think I'm gonna try and get out of the mess of, mess of wood as quickly as possible yeah. and have the cattle pens earlier in the queue. Right, okay. I think that'd probably be the way I go get about it. We'll see though. Here. But um, yeah, it's really awesome. So, custom supports, pretty crazy. All of this, like all this diagonal stuff yeah. is custom, right? The, the game itself does it, doesn't do any of that. Um, but then also, uh, sound was an issue for us with the coaster being relatively close to animals here. 
um, something, uh, uh, another thing that we sort of gave you to, to deal with was the fact that uh, coasters make noise and we don't want them to. So do you want to talk a little bit about how, uh, how you've sort right. of approached that? Right, so uh, there's a coaster in a park called California's Great America. I think that's it. I always keep forgetting the name. Yeah, mm-hmm. Gold Striker. Yeah, Gold, uh, which, Gold Striker. Uh, which, mm-hmm. which had like white plates underneath the track and i remember watching the video on theme park review and being really confused as to why there was all this white stuff underneath the track turns out that that is um god i forgot the english word for it wow uh (laughs) hold on can you guys remember what that was yeah that's it thank you (laughs) yeah yeah so basically they put plates of styrofoam underneath the track to dampen the noise uh, because, you know, wooden coaster tracks are quite open, okay. so all of the noise from the wheels and everything would just go through the track. Uh, so they used the uh, styrofoam in these banked corners to prevent the noise from traveling behind it. And then for the higher section of the coaster, I installed a, a wooden fence to block the noise from the side as well, because it's quite close to where the crocodiles are. So, or alligators, actually, I don't know what they are. Crocodiles. Uh, We're, we 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 established. Uh, I was gonna say, ma- mast builds it, and then the key's one hundred percent sure. What they are. <laughs> They're crocodiles. They're right. crocodiles. Yeah. So yeah, we've got this awesome. I know um, Wicker Wicker Man in the UK, which I think is the only uh, uh, GCI in the UK. I think there's a there's a what was what was GCI before it was GCI? Was it C- CCI or something um, like that? Before it was Great Coast International, there was another company that kind of. It went on to, but they but they have a, a, a ride called Megaphobia in Wales. Um, but I'm pretty sure, as GCI is now, uh, Wicker Man is the only one in the UK, uh, and they have a lot of these sounds. Uh, not just fences, actually, they go right over. They're like a full tunnel, um, and there's about three or four of them. And I, I think that's because uh, Old Towns has quite strict regulations regarding sound levels uh, hmm. and stuff um, with their plan. Yeah, I've, I've I've never been on a GCI, so you will do soon. Is it? No, is, is there not? Oh no, there, no, it's RMC at, at Cedar Point, isn't it? Yeah. It was. Was it? G, was Mean Streak GCI? I don't think it was. Before I don't it, think so. Before no, I don't think so. Is now. Okay. I no, think uh, no, from what I've heard, oh, it was well. too bad to be a GCI. <laughs> I've never really heard a, a, a GCI like, with a very bad reputation. They generally, well, maybe Gwazi. No, Mean Streak runs. wasn't very good. It was uh, not very good. Go. Oh, I have been on Gwazi. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, I have as well. That's yeah, it so then. I've done a couple. Okay, and go. again, that was the that was the original sort of not necessarily inspiration for the layouts and stuff, but th- that's what I wanted to kind of get was that was that idea of Guazi at Bush Gardens, mm-hmm. that just that huge just mess of wood that was just just sat there, you know. This kind of reminds me of Gold Striker actually from Cal- uh, a bit just the way it kind of sits and looks. It kind of reminds me of Gold Striker in Great America, yeah. California, Great America. Yeah, it's really cool though. I'm excited. So- I, I, this might be what drags me back in good stuff so really now all we've <laughs> got to kind of do is figure out how the how this whole area gets linked up i mean it could just mm-hmm. be i don't know just like a whole just a path down kind of seems a bit lazy i don't know um yeah i don't know maybe rather know. than rather than capping it off it ends up it, it does actually end up coming around here i'm not sure um, well, we can but either way yeah, we'll, we'll have a, we'll have it. ourselves a plan session <laughs> uh, the other thing i wanted to ask as well is we've got this tunnel here will this tunnel need like concrete in it and stuff i i guess so yeah but i think rather than it just be in the, the dirt well yeah i, I was going to dress that up yeah. for sure make it an actual like yeah actual as opposed to an earthen tunnel probably make it concrete yeah. sure since really it's going to have road with potentially heavy things going that's over right, it that's right yeah of course and i just, i'd love this this i think that's going to be such so good with a, with a logo there yeah, and, and a planters sort of on either in, side yeah, of it. Some flowers so. and stuff into like actually like enter the uh, enter the realm of the talking of which. <laughs> that's a good segue into the name. Are we officially going with it? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right. So, I've, so we, we we spitballed a little bit about about the name, didn't we? And and so far the naming convention for the areas of the park uh, and for the park itself have been Swahili words. Uh, mm-hmm. Translated Swahili words. So Azuri uh, is Swahili for beautiful, um, and then I can't remember if actually sort of put put in stone any others. There's a few over here. Um, uh, Kunguni is bed bugs. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Kuru uh, Kaputo is flying balloon. Uh, so you know, so we've gone we've gone for that kind of thing, and eventually the, the the whole areas themselves will be Swahili words for various things as well. So we did look at. Um, 
a couple of words. There was one that was something like typhoon or something that was quite a good Swahili word. Um, bu- mm-hmm. Ubuntu or something, I think. No, but but the but, but yeah. But thanks we, we, to uh, thanks to the comments, uh-huh. the one that stuck out to all of us was silverback. Silverback, yeah. So, so we're gonna I think go that's with awesome silverback because it's an animal. It's a good, strong animal as well. That's like. It's the sort of animal you would name a coaster after, right? Absolutely, um, absolutely. But then also it gives a little nod to the creator as well, which I yeah, think I think so. I, think I didn't it's even really think about clever, that. So, oh, yeah, really? that's why I was all about <laughs> silverback. Did you just genuinely think it was wow. it was just the name of a gorilla? <laughs> My mind is blown. All right. <laughs> yeah. No, that's. Yeah. There you go. It's 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 layered. It's yeah, layered much too. better than what is it? Candymonium? Is that the official? For Hershey Park's coaster, that's going to be called Candy. Really? Oh, really? I've never heard of this. That's yeah. gross. That's oh, what wow. I hear. That's, that's what I... That was all... Uh, everyone on Bro Nation was talking about it, so I don't know. That's mad. There's another one. There's a new one somewhere that they're calling it Steel Oh, Person. yeah. That is, that yeah, is the that's name the of one. the community. Mm-hmm. That's because of the... Uh, yeah, that's because of the, the, the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers, yeah. Well, I don't know if it translates in... Um, either uh, <laughs> Dutch or American, <laughs> but in the UK, there's a term, <laughs> called, there's a term, b- <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> don't worry, that's going to get beat. <laughs> <Yeah. video. laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what you're even talking about. <laughs> okay, we'll move on. <laughs> I think it's very creative, but... I don't know if I'll ever be able to look at my steak the same way again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, good God. stuff. But yeah, I think that's that's awesome. And for good points of the park as well, it's got it's adding a great bit of eye line to it, you know. Um, yeah, it. I love how it just peaks over parts. And and again, this is where it. the different terrain heights really come uh-huh. in well. Like at certain points, you see it better than in others. Yeah, and yeah that's pretty cool. I'm excited. It's Some cool. nice foliage in the area. Oh, it'll be really... Yeah, definitely. Well, like I say, it, it mm-hmm. does look a little sort of placed right now, but this will all get mm-hmm. really worked in, right? And, and Yeah, uh, we'll figure it out. Super good. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sil. Thanks for doing it. Thanks for taking the time to custom support it. Absolutely. I know, I know we, yes, didn't, we didn't we uh, didn't request that, but um, I'm glad that you stuck with it and finished it because I think it's really made it something extra special. Yeah, thanks for letting me do this, to be honest. And I'm really looking forward to see what you'll be doing with the theming of it. Glad I don't have to do that part anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, if you would like to see that part, make sure you are subscribed to uh, to Mass Bandit's channel because he's got episode 12, uh, which will be uh, maybe, I'm not going to put words in his mouth, but I reckon he's probably going to have a go at theming this coaster. And of course, yeah. I mean, you are going to be, but if you aren't subscribed to Silver, you want to head over there because he's got a two-part series of building this coaster and lots of other cool things as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching, folks. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, suggestions, you can pop it all down in the comments. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.